As you continue to use Klein for your coding tasks, you will soon realize that even though you always choose the best model that you saw in benchmarks, it doesn't always give you the best outcome that you're looking for. And sometimes models that score lower in benchmarks do a better job than the higher ones. So therein lies the question, which is what is the best large language model for what I'm trying to get done in Klein? Finding the best AI model can often be daunting since there are so many models to begin with and new models are released on a weekly basis. So how do we even answer this question of finding the best model? Let's start with tool usage. If your client setup heavily relies on MCPs for tasks like web scraping, real-time documentation, or GitHub activities, choosing a large language model that only scores high in coding benchmarks might not lead to the best outcome because in this case, the skills required for this kind of setup is not necessarily coding tasks, but rather its ability to choose the correct tool at the correct time. A feature that is becoming more critical is speed of the model, which is measured in a metric called tokens per second. In other words, it measures the speed of inference that the LLM makes to carry out your request. Typically, smaller models like Light, Nano, Flash, and Mini variants tend to be fast in tokens per second, while popular flagship models that are commonly used for complex coding tasks are not as fast as the smaller ones. So if getting the job done fast is of utmost importance, using a leaderboard or ranking them by speed and performance can help you find the fastest model that can deliver in quality. Next, let's talk about context window. Some tasks in Client simply require a lot of conversation back and forth between you and Client. Other similar use cases include tasks tasks that require reading through a large file, large documentation, or tasks that require a lot of agentic exploration due to the project size. In this case, finding a model with larger context window may lead to a better result. A context window in Klein refers to how much memory the model can hold in one session. And tasks that require a lot of steps or data to keep in mind will require a large context window to get the job done. This is why managing context for the appropriate task is a skill set in itself. And in the AI industry, this is often what's called context engineering. Thankfully, Klein gives full visibility to not only how much context each models have, but also how much context window has been used up in real time as it works through the task. Finally, managing costs is a critical piece in balancing performance over investment. While using a high performance models like Anthropic Opus can lead to the best outcome pretty much all the time, balancing out best bang for the buck is often a difficult line to walk. Client settings page gives you full transparency in how much each model's cost in its input and output token by usage. The open source nature of Client gives you full control over what model models to choose from, but also the flexibility to change the model depending on the tasks that you're trying to accomplish in client. And this setting applies for both plan and app mode as well. So back to the original question, which was, what is the best large language model for what I'm trying to get done in Klein? The answer really lies in the question itself. It really depends on what kind of tasks that you are trying to get done and what kind of priorities you have. And Klein understands that in order for you to find the best model for the job, having full transparency in cost, context window, system prompt, and so much more to help you make more informed decisions on what you think is the best model for the job is.